Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to be using the Divi Supreme modules to create a pop-up that triggers when the user exits the site. So if they go up to exit, this little pop-up's going to appear offering them a coupon for 15% off. That's a great little feature to add to your e-commerce site or any site if you want to get a notification up. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is just undo what I've done here. And I'm going to be using the theme builder because we're going to put this on a global footer so it triggers on every page. If you just want it to trigger on one page you can do it wherever you want. So I've just got to go into my footer and undo my pop-up. Okay, so we've undone that now. We can go back out of here. Let's actually create the pop-up we need to create. So let's enable the Visual Builder. Once loaded, let's go down to where we want to work. It doesn't matter too much because we're going to delete this after we've created it because we're just going to add it to the library. Let's add a new row. I'm using a row because I'm going to use multiple modules for the pop-up. And I've just added a single column, single row. I'm going to use a little blurb module. And for the title, I'm going to say before you leave. And underneath, let's say, say 15% with coupon code. And underneath, let's put the coupon code. And of course, if you're using WooCommerce, selling products, just create your coupon code so they can apply it at the checkout. Okay, let's go to our design now. Actually, let's go down. I want to use an icon. And we'll use perhaps a little check mark or something like that. If we go down here, I want something with a solid background. There's a little check mark right there. Fantastic. Okay, let's give it a little background color. Simple blue will do. And go to our design. The text, I want that to be centered. I want to make it light in color so we can actually see it. Now let's edit the, the header text there. You can go to the paintbrush or simply go down to text heading. And let's make that bold and a lot bigger. I might even capitalize it. There we go. And also I want to edit that. I want to make that bigger. So let's make that. Let's go back to the content and we'll make that a heading 2 and that'll enlarge it nicely for us. Fantastic. Great. So the only other thing I want to do is just put a little bit of padding around that. So we'll go to spacing. I'm going to give it 50 pixels all round. Just put in the 50. It'll put in the pixels for you. If you hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side, top, bottom, left, right. So that's that little module taken care of. Now underneath, I'm going to add a shop module and have my sale products because I want them to pop up as well. So if I go down, we we'll use the great little Divi shop module down here. There it is. And I want to do a category, product category, and I want to add my sale products. Fantastic. Now I'm going to give the row a background color. I just want to make my little labels purple there. So let's go into design, sale badge. Bingo, there we go. Great, now let's go into the row that we created. I'm going to give it a 
sort of light blue background with a bit of opacity let's get the color picker up there's a nice light blue I'll have it a little bit see-through and let's add a little bit of padding all round spacing I'm going to say 30 great that'll do fine now that we've got our little pop-up built I need to save it to the library so just between the row and the trash can there's a little round icon that'll enable you to save it to the library and I'll call it exit now that it's applied and save to the library I can go ahead and just delete the whole thing because I don't want it sitting on my page there and we're good to go let's just save our changes and exit now let's go to our theme builder and I'm going to go and edit the global footer doesn't matter which one because they're all the same and like I say I'm doing this on a global footer so it'll work on any page they choose to exit from okay so it doesn't matter which module you go into because they will all trigger it I'm going to go into the module hit the little cog to go inside I'm going to go over to my advanced tab I'm going to go to visibility now one thing you want to remember there's our little switch to use a pop-up if I go into dashboard here and go down to Divi Supreme Pro obviously you've got to have Divi Supreme Pro installed and activated go down to general settings to, for this to work you need to enable Divi pop-up here make sure that's purple and save your changes if you don't this will not work so once that's all enabled let's go back to where we were advanced visibility and you will find the switch use pop-up so let's put this one to on pop-up type I want it to pop out the pop up the layout that we just created and we need to select it from our library there it is at the bottom exit now what do I want it to make to make it trigger I want it to trigger on exit intent right at the bottom there that means when they go up to the little X up there it's gonna pop up for them they can close it outside the pop-up that's fine I don't want to use auto close today and you've got all kind of animations that you can choose for fading in and fading out I want it to be centered in the center of my view here I want it to be absolute so if they scroll the page it'll stay where it is don't want to use full width the actual width of it's fine adjust it if it doesn't work for you and you can adjust it on tablet and phone view to fit whatever you need there do want to show an overlay which will darken the background and I'll leave the show close button as the default which is an X down here so I think we're actually good to go here so I'm going to save my changes save the page changes and exit out now let's go to our site I'm going to refresh this page there's a little pop-up we created in our last video and when I roll up to exit out now there's our little pop-up with our sale items and a little coupon and you just click off of it now if we go to another page and these are category pages it should work on all pages let's go up to exit and there's our little pop-up again and that's a great little feature to add to your site to increase your sales so that's another great feature of the Divi Supreme Modules plugin there well done so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com 
thanks for watching have a great day